Hey, what's up guys, it's Adrian Boisel. I wanted to make a quick video and show you guys one of my best talks that I've ever done about how to make six figures in six months. This was a few years back at Tag Talks Live where I spoke with a bunch of big names and I talked about how to actually level up your business up here at the beginning of your career. And this is what I did to build up to where I am today. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Hope you guys love this talk and uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, definitely hit the like and subscribe button down below. Keep looking up. You gotta have a plan. An idiot with a plan can beat a genius without one. So what I want you to do first is I want you to write down your plan. And I want you to keep it simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. You need to know who you're gonna talk to every day how, or how many people you're gonna talk to. You need to know who you're talking to. If it's a small business owner, if it's an engineering firm, if you're going after a specific industry or if you're consumers, who is your consumer? Is it men, is it women? You wanna get specific in those areas because you wanna be speaking their language. You want to be figuring out what their problems are. It's very, very important. So that's the who, the what, and the how. If you're going to build relationships, which sales is relationships, and at the very beginning of the presentation it says sales is one of the keys to your business success. If you're not selling, that's typically why businesses fail. It's one of the most common reasons. It's just a numbers game and you got to keep it simple. Do you want to make six figures in six months? Sell a $200 product to 500 people? That's only three a day for six months. You put what you do everywhere and you start selling and sharing your story. And selling is just building relationships for me. It's not like trying to sell you something that you don't want. Nobody wants to buy something that someone's pushing on them. You gotta pull the rope, not push it. Carve out time every single day to prospect. Prospecting is probably one of the things that people don't enjoy the most about their business and that's why their sales funnels, their funnels, their, their business funnels dry up. You need to take massive action on that plan every single day. Uh, the last one here for step three is, this is really important. For me, a lot of my time, besides the prospecting and then dealing with the clients from the nine to five, after hours when I left, my day wasn't done. I spent time continuing to grow. So I was gonna dedicate myself consistently on a day in and day out to keep learning, keep growing, keep practicing. Your team. So as you start scaling, as you saw, I grew from just me by myself to an admin, to an extra designer because I was so busy. The next thing you know, I had a team of eight people making signs and doing printing and cutting and all these different things. I had to start delegating my thing, things for myself because I couldn't handle everything. You can't wear that many hats. So once you start getting so much business, you start hitting those six-figure monthly deals, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars a month, you need to start delegating the things that you don't enjoy doing. Client relationships, again, those referrals, it's building those authentic relationships, connecting with people, calling people, uh, going to events, and just serving, that's, that's a huge deal. And this one is one of my favorites here. Money flows, I put this together, money flows when passion shows. My level of passion was so high that it was infectious. People got to it and they were like, man, I love just being around you. I had people coming into my shop on a daily basis just to hang out. They just wanted to be around, they wanted the energy, they wanted the vibe, they wanted people who were motivated around them. So I just started letting them, I put a couch in there, I just made it comfortable. I wanted a place, I'm like, man, bring all your friends. I don't care, we'll hang out, we'll talk. If you need a design, let me know. And so I was just, I mean, literally, I got, I opened my doors there every single day at eight o'clock and I was leaving there like seven, eight o'clock, pulling 12 hour shifts. Uh, and I was just serving all day long. It was so much fun. 